This storm could hardly come at a more inconvenient time for the presidential campaign. It's your voice, your vote. And with just 10 days to go, President Obama and Mitt Romney are having to cancel events from their meticulously planned schedules with some key battleground states directly in the path of this storm. ABC's David Curley is at the White House this morning. David, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. In fact, Mitt Romney has already canceled an event at Virginia Beach along the coast of Virginia, and there is a chance that the president's schedule may be affected as well as this storm comes ashore. Despite that, both campaigns are displaying confidence as we run down the days to election time, and they are playing to specific groups of voters. Turn the channel, and you see the president on MTV. It's an honor. And Inside Edition. This is a big deal. The comedy shows, Leno. You feel all right? I feel great. And the first lady on Kimmel. Election day, election day, up and at him. And not just TV. This is the part of me. A campaign event with Katy Perry. She's just a wonderful young lady. An interview with Rolling Stone and Us Weekly. I love you back. The president is going hip and young. He's ahead with nearly two thirds of those voters, but he needs them to turn out. For Romney, who has co-opted the president's change slogan from four years ago. What this requires is change. It's a different audience. The governor leads among white men, 66 to 32 percent, and he leads in most national polls, while the president has a slight lead in many of the battleground states. That has left both campaigns feeling confident that they have the voters, the ground game to bring home a victory. Somebody is going to be wrong on November 7th. So very different assumptions that these campaigns have about the kinds of people who are going to turn out to vote. How close is this election? The campaigns are searching for those undecided voters any way they can. Back to Sandy now. There's a chance that this could take the president off the campaign trail if it becomes a really devastating storm on the East Coast. It just shows how important some of that early voting for both campaigns may be. Dan Abiano. David Curley, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, as we said, T-minus 10 days until the election. And for more now, let's bring in our political contributor, Nicole Wallace, former advisor to President George W. Bush in the McCain-Palin campaign. Good morning to you. Good morning. Can we just start by talking about the storm? How big a variable I is I really this? can't wait to get out of here and go figure out what a go <laughs> back <laughs> your back is up when you have a 10-month-old. Um, listen, there is always the third rail when you're making these plans for the final 10 days, and that is all of the national events that can change or reshape the election are over, the debates are over, the conventions are over, but there's always an outside event that can have the effect of reordering the entire race, and that's what this storm could be. It's, it's high stakes drama for both campaigns, and you can be assured that there are meetings where they are going over those precision uh, 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 drops, if you will, the, the, the travel schedules for the candidates, for the wives, for the surrogates, and making sure that none of that works against what they're trying to do. Could be a make or break moment for the president either way. What do you make of the discrepancy in the polls between the national polls and the polls in the swing states? You know, I find the polling disorienting at this point because we're looking at national polls, but they're really rendered pretty irrelevant at this point. This is, has now come down to 50 statewide races, and that's all that matters until and unless we ever change the way we elect presidents. So, so at this point, there, there's not much to be gleaned anymore or to, or to understand in those national polls. And really what matters most are the numbers in those states like Ohio, like Florida, like North Carolina and Virginia. One has to wonder though with the jobs report coming just five days before election day what impact that could have. Right. All right, Nicole, thank, thank you so you. much for joining Nicole, me. Go pack your bag. You. <laughs> <laughs> for the latest on the race for the White House, don't miss this week with George Stephanopoulos tomorrow morning right here on ABC.